Kiki Ohana, Eddie here. It's been a while since my last video, but I was finally able to get myself started on my first in-depth breakdown of the whereabouts of one of our cast members. We think we know when to expect certain characters during the first season, at least roughly, but how right are we? Until the show airs, the purpose of this video and others like it is to give you more information on the whereabouts of certain actors so you can conclude on your own when their character may be appearing during the first season of The Wheel of Time on Prime. Before I get started, I want to thank Josh Stolars for allowing me to use his map of Emmons Field. Check out mapeffect.co for his amazing map making content, tutorials, and tools. Also, this is a good time to put a spoiler warning. I don't go into great detail or speculation in this video, but if you don't want any potential changes from the book spoiled for you, turn away now. So, the person of interest for this video will be Kaya Alexander, the actress playing Min Farshaw. Kaya is probably best known for her role in Game of Thrones as Leaf. On August 19th, 2020, the official Watts on Prime Twitter account announced that she would be playing the role of Min. In my Block 2 video, I guessed that she would probably be appearing in episodes 3 or 4. But as it turned out, that guess was wrong. How do we know this? Well, on September 29th, 2020, Kai's agency posted on Instagram that filming began for her that day and that she would be joining as fan favorite Min Farshaw. The wording definitely seemed to imply that she had not yet filmed. The post quickly was taken down, which we've seen happen when social media posts reveal more than Amazon is ready to release. So, it appears that Min will actually be first appearing in episode 7 or 8. But let's have a look at what she was up to during blocks 1 through 3 to be sure. First, let's look at Kai's social media and her posting style. She has an Instagram and a Twitter account, Kaya Alexander the Great and Kaya Alexander, respectively. Her post frequency is varied, and as far as posting style, she mainly seems to use social media to commemorate events, promote projects, share random throwbacks or photo shoots, and she does use the occasional story on Instagram, especially during events. It's interesting to note that during a July 27, 2020 interview with Chatterbox, Kaya was asked about the secrecy behind Game of Thrones, and this was what she said. Erring on the side of caution, it appears she would disappear for months without saying anything about why. While it's not to the level of scrutinization of Game of Thrones yet, Wheel of Time definitely has an air of secrecy around it that Kaya will have some familiarity with. So I tried to keep this in mind as I reviewed her social media activity. Just a note, I don't like feeling like a total stalker, so I'm not going to put up each and every post that Kaya has shared to her social media. If you're interested in seeing her post for yourself, please follow her on Instagram and Twitter. Alright, so let's look at block 1. As a reminder, principal photography began on the Wheel of Time on September 16th, 2019. On the 16th, 17th, and 18th, Kaya was in London at the World Fashion Awards which she later posted about on the 19th and 20th on Instagram. She also made a post on the 19th promoting Maleficent 2, which was upcoming at that time. Fast forward two weeks to October 7th, when Kaya was in London for the launch of the BAFTA Elevate Actors Initiative. She posted about this a day later on Instagram. She also made a tweet that day which happened to be location tags. So we know she was still in London on October 8th. The next day, she was still in London for the European premiere of Maleficent 2, which she posted about two days later on October 11th. On the 18th, she shared a picture of herself in costume as her Maleficent 2 character to promote the movie. Before I move on to the next weeks of Block 1, I do want to note that the filming for the movie Infinite started during this time, on September 18th, and went all the way through December 24th according to some articles. Kaya was announced to be part of the cast of this film back in August 2019, but it's unknown exactly when she filmed, so I'm just going to leave this reminder in the corner here. Moving on to week 6 through 9 of Block 1. On October 25th, Kaya posted to Instagram some photos taken by Misha Megna back on October 7th at the BAFTA Elevate launch. On Halloween, she posted another picture of her character from Maleficent 2. As a side note, due to the nature of these last posts, it's hard to say exactly where Kaya might be at this time. Infinite was filming in Wales at the end of October. She could have been there, or she might have been at home. It's hard to say. Her Instagram post on November 1st could possibly point to her being at home in London at the time, but 
Given how often Kai tends to post a photo to Instagram days after it was actually taken, I wouldn't read too much into her whereabouts based on a photo like this. November 12th was an interesting Instagram post for her. First of all, it's the last thing she posted to her Instagram feed in 2019. Secondly, it's a reel of her fight training. The caption says, Can't talk right now, I'm at the playground, trained by the greatest, at Liang Stunts and at Dre7774. The first mention, Liang Stunts, is stuntman Liang Yang. The second mention, Dre7774, is a little harder to track down as the account no longer exists, but it used to belong to Andre Nazarenko, another stuntman. What do Liang Yang, Andre Nazarenko, and Kaya Alexander all have in common? Well, Liang is a fight coordinator, and Andre is part of the core stunt team for Infinite, in which Kaya plays the role of Trace. If you recall in my Block 2 video, I theorized that Kaya might have been filming The Wheel of Time during a mysterious social media disappearance, but now I'm pretty sure that I was 100% wrong in that guess. I'm not saying that her absence from social media was definitely because she was filming Infinite, but it is interesting that her last social media post before her disappearance was a training reel with two stuntmen who also worked on the movie. Well, let's move on to block 2 now. As I mentioned earlier, Kai didn't really post much on social media at all during block 2. But on December 7th, we do know that she was in Germany at the Dortmund Comic Con. The production for The Wheel of Time went on break for about 2 weeks from December 21st to around January 6th and the block filmed until January 28th. During this time, Kai was in Sri Lanka on vacation from January 12th through 16th, and she was in London on January 22nd for the E BAFTA Rising Star Party. She posted about the party a day later on the 23rd. Moving on to block 3. On February 2nd, Kai was in London for the EE BAFTA Awards. She posted several posts to her Instagram feed a few days later, and interestingly, she also posted this to her stories. It's a repost of Louis Goody's story in which he reveals that she landed a wicked part from a self-tape done with him. Now, this is just speculation, but could this wicked part be Min? If it is, that supports the other evidence pointing to Kai not filming until Block 4. On February 7th, Kai posted another geotag tweet that revealed she was in London at the time. And on the 23rd, she posted a series of pictures in which she does her best Elaine impression while bathing in milk. On the 27th, she posted a throwback to the post-BAFTA drinks reception. Finishing up with the last two weeks of Block 3. We know Kaya was in Cambridge on March 7th and 8th at the Water Sprite Film Festival. I want to take a moment here to point out that while her hair is mostly black, she still has a few bleach spots in her hair. This will be relevant in just a little bit. As a reminder, the Block 4 table read took place on March 2nd. Block 3 finished filming on March 13th, and the production shut down on March 14th. I won't go into detail on Kaya's social media activity during this time, but there are a couple of interesting posts I wanted to mention. The first is from March 26th, specifically a reply from Thomas Chonning on one of Kaya's posts. The two previously worked together on the show White Dragon, which was filmed in Hong Kong in 2017. In a throwback post with pictures from that time, Thomas said, Miss those good times. BTW joining you in Prague at some point. The main thing I gleaned from this is that Thomas likely was not at the table read on March 2nd, because if he had been there, he wouldn't have had the need to tell her about joining her in Prague via social media. Let's fast forward to September 2020. The second post of interest was from the 5th, just before Block 4 filming finally got underway. I presume Kai was still in London at this time as she posted a number of photos to her stories on that day, including some from a get-together with friends. This photo taken on that same day caught my eye. The get-together was presumably at the home of Kai and her boyfriend as the hats everyone is wearing belong to him, so I wonder who owns this copy of The Shadow Rising. Even if it's not Kai's personal copy, it makes me happy that someone close to her was reading the fourth book in the series. I'll go into more detail on Kai's social media activity when I break down the filming for Block 4, but September 9th was the first time she posted from Prague via Instagram stories, as September 29th was when her agency posted about her starting filming. If that was her first day, it's pretty safe to say she was probably in Prague through the end of September and beyond. 
We don't know exactly when she left, but the director for Block 4 left Prague on October 31st. And as of the date of posting this video, we haven't really heard much from Kaya since then. However, on December 15th, 2020, Madeline Madden posted some pre-lockdown COVID safe pictures of her hanging out with the cast in 2020, and two of those pictures included Kaya. I do want to point out that her hair no longer has any bleached ends, and because of that, and their clothing, I would guess that these were probably taken in the fall of 2020, but that's just my guess of course. So that's it for this video. What do you think? Do you think there's still a chance Min will appear before episode 7 or 8? Also, I'd love to hear your theories on where they'll meet Min in the show. Up next, I still need to break down the filming from September through December of 2020, including Block 4 and other filming that was done during that time. Also, if you liked this video and would like me to do one for Alexandre Willam, please let me know in the comments. As a reminder, the best way to know when a new video is released is to follow me on Twitter at GeekyEddy. You can also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications directly from YouTube. For the latest news, don't forget to check out watchseries.com. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.